All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Dying Light 2. Um, now, in between last stream and this stream, they actually released a new mission set that uh, has two of the characters from the first game. Um, I believe they were the uh, little tinkerer dudes that you worked with. In the, it was like one of the first survivor camps you went to. Um, and uh, I believe those two have been added to this game. Now, I don't know when those that mission will pop up or what part of the city it's in, but if we do get a chance to check it out, we, we definitely will. I have no idea where it is, though. The worst thing was they took all the equipment. I demand to speak to Carl. Go away, Nerese. Where the hell is Carl? Isn't he responsible for our safety? How can he be a leader if he doesn't do jack shit? I keep telling everyone. See what she wants. Why won't you help me? You are worthless, heartless, selfish, and everything all right? No. Everything is not all right. Please. It's my boys. They've gone missing. I haven't seen them for hours. Mo is 13. Scotty's 16. Please. Yeah, boys their age do tend to wander off. Uh-uh. Not my boys. They always tell me where they're going and when they'll be back. This time was no different, but... I feel like something oh, shady happened with this. Up. I don't remember. It'd be just like them to get into trouble planning a surprise. I'd die. You understand? If something happened to them, I'd... Hey, I can take a look. But I I'm new here. I, I don't have much of... We... Neither do we, but... Well, I'd have nothing without them. I I if you find them... Uh, I, I can share a little something I've kept for a rainy day. All right, I can try to find them. As a pilgrim, I did plenty of tracking. What? A pilgrim? You're lucky this is about my children. I know what sort of people become pilgrims. Otherwise, I'd want nothing to do with you. Damn, I just want to help. Where should I start to look? Right here. Sometimes they play with this filthy little boy by the church walls. All right, I'll check it out. You stay here and wait. Yeah, this lady ain't nice, chat. And you're supposed to be an only child. All right, so let me uh, let me get out of here real quick. I want to see what missions we have available. Um, um, so we had this right here. Uh, look for the boys around the bazaar. We also had this here. Um, so this for the main mission. Balls in your court. Find the missing supplier. We also had a mission for that guy's brother. The missing person. Look for Cliff. So let's start off with this. We'll go look for Cliff. Kind of stretch our legs. Get get the blood pumping. The blood boiling. George, what's up, brother? How you doing, man? And Tim. Thank you for the super chat, brother. I'm not running from the virals because we need their uh, the trophies so we can get upgrades. So anytime we, we run into virals, we're, we're pretty much going to fight them. But Tim, seriously, brother, I appreciate the love, man. I hope everybody is having a good Saturday. Mystic with the re-up on the membership. Thank you. And Army Gale, how you doing today? Coming and dropping the gifted on the channel. Got to get that blood boiling, the adrenaline pumping. I do like these zip lines all over the place, though. These are quite nice. I can't wait. It smells delicious. If I remember right. Baddies. 
think I got some grenades, don't I? Now I got a remote C4, though. I thought I had some grenades. Happy Saturday, everyone. Let's get it. Fire beer mugs, beer mugs, beer mugs, beer mugs, beer mugs. All right, I'm going to break these down real quick. You find a lot of a lot of weapons and stuff, so it's definitely nice to break this crap down. It's 31. We got to get some uh, some new mods too. Well, yeah, we could do Inferno on this. So blast mod when charged so over time. We could shoot out a fire, and then we'll get the electrical spark on this too. turn might get a couple virals here yep Do this, brother. <laughs> Too easy, chat. All right, we can keep it moving. We don't have to. What's going on with a Y? I watched that uh, last night. The card thing was, yo, that was, man, them little kids were brutal, dude. So yeah, we were at trade night last night, and I was opening some cards for some of the kids. Man, it was, it was brutal. It was brutal. They were so unforgiven. All right, let's see here. Um. So he doesn't have Come any materials. That's all we're really looking for right now. It's crafting materials. Suck you on. So you get the glider, dude. You can't just like willy nilly jump off the roofs. Lorenzo. Thank you, thank you for the gifted, man. Find shelter. You're gonna get drenched in this I appreciate you, dude. No when you play God. Whoa, 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 whoa. But George, uh, I remember when you played the first Dying Light, the series has come a long way. Yo, it really has, man. It's You know what's crazy is I was actually... We were, we were talking about potentially checking out Dying Light 1 again. That was a good throw. Eat this motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> about some change. Good night. Good luck. Uh, Will, thank you so much, dude. <laughs>
Um, but yeah, I thought about checking it out. I'm not sure if it's the fifth or the sixth. There is an update for Phasmophobia this week. I just thought you wanted to know thank you for the outstanding content on all the games you play day in day out. Chris, thank you so much, brother. I really appreciate that. Whoa, there. Uh, yeah, I haven't played Phasmophobia in a really long time. Okay, we're getting a lot of trophies here, too. I used to play it a lot in VR. Uh, I know that game has changed a crap ton since I last played it. I mean, I played it when it was, like, pretty new. But, Will, Chris, guys, I really appreciate the love. That means the world to me. Damn, dude, you, you guys are absolutely out of control, too. Since you were vibing to that last super chat, beer mugs, beer mugs, beer mugs, beer mugs, beer mugs, beer mugs, beer mugs. Beer mugs. It's, it's a... It, it, uh, so. <laughs> No, and was nobody else feeling the beer mugs? Like, as soon as you started hearing it, it's just like... I appreciate you, Tim. Seriously, man. You shit me. Going on. All right, we got to get up that way. I'm trying to find a quick way up. Here we go. But yeah, I thought about checking out um, Dying Light 1 again on the channel at some point. It's just, we got so many games, it's hard, you know, the rehash games without updates. Um, gen like, even this game, I probably wanted to rehash this if there was not an update to check it out. But I thought about, you know, because I did play Dying Light 1 so long ago on the channel, that either A, I was going to, kind of like we did with Hitman, I was going to like re-release the older videos. So those of you guys who didn't watch them back in the day could watch them, you know, currently. So I was going to re-release the older stuff, or we were just going to replay it. But I don't know. I feel like if I tried to replay it, I don't know if, we would, if it would survive the whole... I don't know. It probably would do all right. I don't know. Uh, we just played Sons of the Forest yesterday, so we won't be playing again tonight. No, I'll probably be doing uh, Banishers. I'll ask right now, but I'll ask again once we get a couple more people in the chat. But let me see, let me see the L in the chat if you have never seen my Dying Light 1 playthrough. Alright, let's craft up some throwing knives. I'm trying to get an idea of how many. People that are like current viewers have still never seen it. It's actually quite a lot of people that have never seen it, dude. Holy shit. Uh, what was more fun? Dying Light 1. Dying Light 1 for sure, George. Yeah, I, I Dead Island 1 was a lot of fun too, but Dying Light uh, 1 was... That game is just top tier, dude. It's so fun. So we're going to sneak kill these dudes. The following DLC I found to be 10 times better than the base game, and I enjoyed it so much. Yeah, it's a lot more people than I, I, I thought, but it, I mean, I crap, when I played Dying Light 1, shit, I think I, that was before I even had 20,000 subscribers on my channel. Like, it was a long time ago, guys. I don't even remember. It had to have been back in, like, 2021. Remember that dude's brother? I thought he was. No need to go that way. There's no. 
Uh, we could use the loot, I guess. Years ago, yeah, so I had to have been, yeah. George with the gifted brother, thank you so much, man. There's a lot of mods that completely change the plant. How easy is it to mod Dying Light 1, though, Reza? Is it just as simple as like going on freaking Nexus mods and one click, boom, done? Copy paste. Yeah, I, I don't mind mods like that when it's just easy, just fucking drag and drop. God damn. Yeah, it ain't whatever's over there ain't worth all that bullshit. Yeah, screw that. We'll keep heading downstairs. So we gotta inhibitor container nearby. There it is. Tim, thank you for the gift. Man, you guys are out of control. Seriously, I appreciate all the love you guys are showing, man. It's absolutely crazy. Um, the last, like, two weeks, I, I, the generosity that you guys have been showing is just a whole nother level, man. And I really want to let you guys know that it's not going unnoticed. Um, that shit means the world to me, my family, so many people in this community, I'm pretty sure, appreciate the love. It, it's... It's top tier, guys. How the hell did we get in there, then? Has to be another way down. Maybe through here. All right, let me go ahead, uh, grab this level real quick. A dodge, I'm doing good, brother, doing good. Um, I hear them talking. I don't know if those guys are virals. Though they kind of seem they kind of seem like virals. This one at least. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was a viral. So the virals are like the fresh turns. And they're a lot more aggressive than the fat really, really <laughs> fast ones. How, I, I really, I actually enjoyed Final Fantasy Rebirth quite a bit. Um, yeah, it was, it, was, it was definitely a bit of fun. But like I told you guys, I don't know what it is, but Final Fantasy and my YouTube channel, they just don't, they just don't mesh for whatever reason. I think people just see the name Final Fantasy and they just, they don't, they don't care to even check it out. But I, I, I enjoyed it quite a bit. Graphically, it's, it's amazing. Uh, the story so far is pretty damn good. They're definitely uh, doubling down and clearing up some of the questions I had in the first game, or in the first part. <laughs> Just call it GTA 5 Final Fantasy, all right? <laughs> no, nah, I mean, I could, I could, you know, do things to get more people to click on it. Like, I just don't put Final Fantasy. I could say, 
you know, playing one of the br you know brand new amazing fucking RPG, you know, and, and just leave that as the title, with with like a very cool looking thumbnail. And yeah, I'd get more people to click on it, but you guys know me. I don't. I want you guys to know what you're clicking on. I don't want you guys to just be like, you know, make that decision if something you want. I don't want to have to like fool people into like, nah, nah, it is what it is, dude. People don't want to watch it. They don't watch it. It's it's all good. It's all good. Okay, here we go. Climbing around. Just trying to reposition on these dudes. I'm making myself crazy. Should I see a doctor about this? Lorenzo with the gifted. I appreciate it. Uh, do I have any tips uh, for when to fight a horde in lethal zone? And that's what it, I, it all just depends, Dodge. I mean, um, it depends on what kind of horde you're talking about. Uh, generally, in, in lethal zone, you fight what you need to fight. Like, you don't just go out of your way to fight something just to fight it. You know what I mean? Um, that's the tip I always try to give people is... Fight when you need to fight, avoid a fight if you can. So if you're trying to get into a building to get some loot and it's like, look, my community needs this food or else, um, you know, something bad's gonna happen or I really need to get this ammo. And if it's worth it to you, then you go ahead and you fight. But if it's just like, um, wrench shit, is that a, oh, I forgot they added knives to the game, right? Cause knives weren't a, uh, They weren't a weapon type, bro. I, I don't remember these being a weapon type. Yeah. 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 Uh, but yeah, that, that's what I would say. And Lorenzo, again, thank you for the gifted. I appreciate you. Tim with the super chat, man. I've seen Pacific Drive. Yeah, we played... Uh... <laughs> Ryan, have you seen Pacific Drive? Very unique survival style game. Yeah, okay, sign cool. We played, uh, Tim, we played the, uh, the bounty. I freaking looked up and seen bounty. We played the demo, uh, when it first dropped. What's up, bruh, bruh? How was last night? Justino, it was a good time. It was a good time. I actually got some pretty good stuff. Damien? Damien? Nah, I'm Cliff. Wow, resemblance is uncanny. Guards! Wait, stop, Damien sent me. How did you escape? Escape? I have no reason to escape, man. So you're not, you're working with them, aren't you? Well, duh. Listen, Cliff, what I really want to know right now is about the murder of Commander Lucas. The PK commander? What about him? Did you or your people kill him? No fucking way. We're not suicidal. Anyway, we got bigger fish to fry. Like you, for instance. Me? What the hell do you mean? You and Damien haven't figured it out? Oh, well. I love my brother, but he's a dope. Always has been. 
Uh, but again, Justino, thank you for the super chat. Sheldon with the huge super chat, man. You're doing it right. The ninja style is definitely hitting the bottom. I'm <laughs> glad you're enjoying it, brother. Thank you, man. As always. You're doing it right. The ninja style is definitely hitting the vibe. And Chris with another super chat. On Thursday, there's a new heist coming out for GTA 5 online. Enjoying Sons of the Forest. Could you uh, find out if it's coming out for Xbox? Um, I don't. As On a... Thursday, there's a new heist coming out for GTA 5 online, and I'm enjoying the Sons of the Forest. And could you find out if it's coming out for Xbox? Um, Chris, so from what I've heard, uh, Sons of the Forest is a uh, PC exclusive right now. Like they're having a. Either A, they're not releasing it on console, or they're having issues with releasing it on console, so. We'll have, we'll have to wait and see. You tricked your brother to send innocent men to their deaths because you wanted to find me? Waltz can run it all down for you himself. Or rather, for what you've got from Dylan. Wait, Waltz? Where is he? Dunno. They haven't filled me in on all the details he's a, he's yet. He's gonna punch me, chat. Aiden? You there? Aiden always Aiden gets punched. Yes. But well, you won't like it. Damien, bro. Unfortunately, now's not a good time to chat. And as for you, you finally found Dr. Walls. Downside, he's found you. That's him, fellas. The one who took the doc's toy. Or was I too late? Damn! Damn! <laughs> Let me heal up real quick. I tried to parry that and it didn't work. I'm blowing through these damn throwing knives like crazy. Yo, they, I, I don't know why. I, I just feel like the throwing knives are so good, man. I, I feel like I've been using a lot of them. Get the owl. up real quick A lot of stuff we can break down for more scraps. Hi Brian, how are you? Just watched your Final Fantasy stream and liked it. Very interesting story and good graphics. Damien! Are you still there? G-Man. G-Man, thank Damien. you for the super chat. Can you hear me? 
No, I really enjoyed it too, man. Um, it was a lot of fun. I didn't mean to do him like that, chat. I was trying to... Do you think it was quick? Oh, yeah, it was quick. It was quick. But seriously, G man, I appreciate the love. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Nah, no, the graphics were freaking phenomenal, man. Uh, especially being on PlayStation, you know, like not that PlayStation's bad, but I, I'm usually on PC with everything. So for me, that was it was it was gorgeous. Let's get out of here. See what Damien has to say. I love the knives, man. There's one button. Lorenzo with the super chat, bro. I was in my feelings, man. I was really in my feelings last night when I blew up my fucking front of my base, dude. Like I was, I was feeling some type of way. Let's head back. I also want to see what we need to upgrade our. Uh, our heals, because we've been getting a decent bit of trophies, and I know we were hurting on trophies for a lot of upgrades. So we've been farming upgrades, or uh, trophies a bit, so... I wouldn't really say farmer, we're kind of just... Clean. Wow, look at how many zombies. That is ridiculous. Ah! 
IB good move on blowing up your own fence on soft 2 LMFAO how and why too. I think that might be a uh, trophy right there. Oh, hit the ground kind of hard. Yep. Yeah, Lorenzo, I couldn't believe it, dude. I couldn't believe it, man. Clear that convoy. I mean, I would clear that convoy right now, but I want to get some more mollies and stuff so I can start dealing with the big crowd control or the big groups. Because, yeah, there was a lot of zombies there. But we'd get some ammo for our gun if I cleared that because those uh, convoys do give out ammo. What's going on? Where's Damien? He locked himself in the tower. Any other way into the tower? Damn, dude. Not really. Not by ordinary means. People have tried to climb the wall, but those who have usually end up getting scraped off the ground. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Fucking Damien's about to get scraped. Bro. No emotions with the super chat, man. You definitely uh, uh, played Call of Duty before. Knife throwing skills. Nah, dude, my knife throwing skills are garbage, dude. Aiden, without those nitrates, we're as screwed as a, a, a viral in the sun. Okay, so. Oh, we got a lot of stuff to chat. We could do throwing knives and. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff, actually. So I'm thinking Molly's. So Molly's and throwing knives or heels? You definitely have played Another Call of Duty before. You have Go. insane knife throwing what skills. You gotta teach me that. I suck with knives. Dude, I'm terrible with them too, dude. Did they always have the weather events? James, I didn't remember it either. Some people said some people said they have been in the game for a while. Uh, Reza said they were quite new, also I believe. But yeah, I don't personally remember the weather being in the game. I feel like that'd be something I would remember. No, dead. Um, so let me start breaking on this crap again. Here we got cans, rag. Getting so many cans, dude. I want spare parts, though. There we go. Now we're getting some spare parts. There's some scraps. Or maybe all of them give you scraps and they, they just kind of issue the rewards in order. That's actually quite nice. Okay. You know, let's see if we can sell some of these weapons. So, yeah, yeah. When it's only worth like one, um, and this is a long, unique axe, 35 damage. Yeah, no, 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 we'll get rid of this too. Haven't seen my kids in months because of this ridiculous blockade at the center. Okay, so we're gonna have to get more of the, uh, You are always 
We're gonna have to get more of the uh, trophies, but we should be okay for right now. Throw this on. This on. William, how you doing today? Seriously, that is a huge, huge super chat, brother. What's going on? And Tim with the seven months. The one thing I really, uh, they really did well with this game is uh, the movement parkour the update have been big for that. Yeah, Tim, because it felt bad when it first started. It was very floaty. Um, but yeah, they went ahead and, and changed up the parkour, and it does. It does feel quite nice now. So if I sell clothing items, how much will we get for these? Let's see. Man, these don't sell sell for shit. Is it because of the difficulty we're playing on that stuff sells for so garbage? At that point, you're just better off breaking pretty much every single thing down. Tanj, thank you so much for the gifted, man. Whoever receives that, welcome to the fam. That's so kind of you. Oh, we're gonna die. Oh, we're in there like swimmer, baby. Wait, 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 wait. What? Okay, right there. Okay, I see it. I see it. Oh, so the difficulty does play a huge deal in it? Okay. So I was like, man, I'm not, like, making anything on any of these sales whatsoever. But it's all good. We... What the hell? Code for that. It's code over here. Yes, it is. Okay, so five times a hundred is five hundred plus fifteen is five fifteen minus five is five ten, right? My public school education is might be enough to handle this. So five, one, no five ten. Why the fuck did it was five ten? Why did I put five one five? Five one zero. Got it. the tape I wonder if you could listen to these tapes guys I've never tried to listen to these before oh you can oh Chad we never listened to any of these before like ever in the history of ever a George with the super chat brother thank you so much man any advice for viewers who want to drive trucks oh like get your CDL and drive trucks Man, uh, I mean, it's a good industry. Um, it's always going to be work. Uh, the pay is constantly going up. 
And uh, there's actually a lot of companies out there that will pay for you to go out and get your license. Like they do everything. They'll send, they'll sort of fly you out to the school. They'll pay for everything. They put you in a hotel. Now, granted, you are usually locked in to work for that company for about a year um, in order to like pay back your your. But I mean, generally, if you do your research on the company, make sure it's a company you don't mind working for. Um, it shouldn't be an issue, you know what I mean? But yeah, you can kind of go get your CDL for free. Uh, and I, I try to tell people all the time, uh, even if you don't want to drive trucks, just getting your CDL is just something good to have, like period. Like, it's just a, like a fallback. Say you have a good job in, in an office or you work in IT or something like that. Just having your CDL as a backup, just in case something happens, your fucking company goes under or there's cut, you know, layoffs or whatever having that fucking cdl as a backup plan is just ideal like i i let mine expire i still i gotta go do my dot physical or whatever to like renew mine because obviously i stopped driving truck like a year or two ago uh, when i started doing this full time but yeah um having that just in your back how pocket how many different good. guns have you obtained thinking face beer mugs beer mugs beer mugs beer mugs beer mugs um, so we only got the one pistol so far that you get in the stash, Tim. You got to wait till you get to the second city. Uh, I believe that's where you fully unlock the ability to to, to earn the guns. And uh, But we have used the shotgun. We've used the assault rifles, uh, the SMG, and uh, the pistol. In the the There's like a little mission you can do where you can use all of them. Ryan, how you doing? Yeah, the central loop. The central loop, yeah. All right, let me listen to this real quick. I don't know. At the age of 23, I became a priest. Still just a snot-nosed kid, and I was supposed to be a shepherd of souls. I felt I was meant for this. I had answered the call. If God was with me, then who could be against me? I was full of conviction, faith that I could make the world a better place. But the world <laughs> had other plans. Many times, I performed someone's last rites. I held their hands as they died. And in that last moment, in the millisecond before their last breath, I saw in them relief. Not because they were moving on to some kind of better world to heaven, but because it was the end of something painful. They could finally bow out of the futile and exhausting dance of life. Their chore of living would be over. Their suffering would end. It was something completely incomprehensible to me. How can a person reject the gift of life? To accept death joyfully for a person as strong as me? This was something very disturbing. Or maybe they knew about something that I had not seen? Did they see it in their last moment? This was the first crack in the edifice of my faith. And then... The epidemic started. Damn. They seen the, they seen the apocalypse coming, dude. Ah, uh, so we just got a blueprint here too for the thingamabob. Looks like a pretty heavy weapon. Damien, stop or I jump. Wait. Okay. I've stopped. Relax, Damien. Let's both relax. What do you want? To talk. About what? About not finding out the hard way that you can't fly. <laughs> Maybe if I weren't such a weakling and a coward, I'd have jumped already. But you didn't. Something is holding you back. Fear. Fear has always held me back. It held me back from refusing those assholes after they took my brother. It held me back from telling those doomed guys to run like hell instead of sending them to their deaths. I won't be held back anymore, Aiden. I won't hold myself back. You ready for this, Aiden? Because if I stop holding myself back, I think I just might be able to fly after all. Check it out! No! Yeah, dude. Yo, how come I've never been able to save this, dude? 
Do I just pick the same dialogue option every time? Like, what the fuck? I feel like I've literally picked every option. And that man just still dies every time. I think last time I, I tried to talk to him about his brother and he still fucking jumped. fucking crazy dude all right so that's the main quest find the missing supplier all right let's go do this oh it was it was my tomato plants wilted before they could even bear fruit mm, it's about to be nighttime actually you need you were supposed to be discreet. and he was supposed to be an only child they surprised me talked about life that actually might be the one I've never clicked on before. <laughs> Legit. I've never tried Mirror's Edge, George. No. This is how it was in Dying Light 1, chat. You know, never go out at night, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ever go out at night. The only mi the only night stuff I ever did in Dying Light One was when it was mandatory, and that's what Dying Light Two has become. Yeah, we're having pizza and wings tonight, chat. Homemade. I'll be getting off stream this time so I could so I could eat like eat like a straight savage. Every time, every time it's pizza and wings night, it's like I'm streaming when the food's done. And then, you know, I'm worried that people are going to be mad that I'm eating food on stream because people tend to get mad when I'm not playing the video game. Not even just eating, when I'm doing anything other than playing the video game, even having this conversation, people are just like, dude, shut the fuck up and play the game. Just shut the fuck up and play the game. God damn, bro. I can't I can't speak anymore, bro. I lost the right to speak. I'm just I'm, I'm just a video game playing slave, dude. <laughs> Legit is how it feels sometimes. It's a fucking slave, man. <laughs> Just shut the fuck up and play the game. I got, it's like this. I'll be playing chat. I, I go to grab my water and all of a sudden, whoosh, I'm like, oh shit. It's like, shut the fuck up and play the game. You want money? I'll give you money. Just let me go. God damn.
I, the, the, I get a comment a lot, though, from people. Um, and I think it's because when they click on my content, they don't know that I'm a live streamer, you know what I mean? They just see Dying Light, and they're just like, oh, let me, like, not just Dying Light, but any game. And they think they're just watching normal content. And then once I start having commentary and shit, people are like, bro, shut up, dude. Why are you talking so much? It's like, and I, I get confused. I'm like, do you guys not, like, it's a very, very big genre of YouTube videos, which is gameplay in parentheses with no, or in the little quotations with no commentary. Like, you specifically are supposed to look that up, because generally if you don't look up something that says no commentary, generally you're going to get commentary. But I feel like some people just, they don't know that. Yeah, I mean, I personally wouldn't enjoy just watching somebody play a game without commentary, because then it's just like, at that point, I just go fucking play it myself, you know what I mean? Like, I generally feel like it's the the person that's playing along with the game. Kind of makes it a good time. All right, so I don't, I feel like this is the building that we're supposed to be in. Could I just have come through this window? I don't even know if this is the right building, guys. I'm just... We're just guessing here. I don't want to fucking assassinate you anyway, dude, whatever. <sighs> I actually have a bounty to loot 500 items. I wonder what the reward's gonna be for that. How do you even check that ch ch Oh, bounties. How about that? The tab that fucking says bounties. Um, so if we finish this bounty, we'll get a bounty bonus box, a uh, selection of crafting parts, weapons, or potions, maybe even something explosive. I, you know, I've never done these before, like the bounties. Ever. Like, I think we tried, like, one of the hunter things, like, a little bit, but we have not really explored these this part of the game. And another part of this game I haven't explored is the community maps. I was going to actually ask, guys, are the community maps, like, worth checking out? Like, is there some good content in there that we could potentially play and, um, like, experience? Like, what are your guys' thoughts on it? So there's a footsteps up there. Great, brother. What's going on, man? I appreciate the gifted, brother. It's good to see you, man. I hope you're having a good day. Yeah, the footsteps are not down here at all. Let me see if we can follow these footsteps. I'm so fucking hungry right now. It's actually kind of crazy. I don't know why it was like just all types of Wait, what? No, we came down So I think it's this way gotta clear it up <laughs> George with the super chat, brother. Thank you so much, man. Brian is the standard smash. I appreciate that, man. I don't know about that, dude. 
I feel like I, I feel like I might be the standard of mediocrity. I, I feel like I do a pretty good job. You're not just being mediocre. Like if there if there was a uh, an, an award for like just being mediocre, I think I, I could probably win it every fucking time, dude. Like hands down, nobody can just be meh as good as me, dude. That shit is gone. So maybe we do gotta go down. Throwing knives are so good, dude. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's actually with the super chat. This guy feels like he's on speed. <laughs> For real. And Tim B with the super chat. Uh, do you yapping and eating all you want? While See, Tim, the thing is, is I, I, I try. You know what I mean? I, I give in to the hunger. You know? I give in to the, the urges to just speak. But, um... <laughs> I also don't want to degrade the quality of my content either by, you know... What's acceptable on live or what's... You know, there, there's just... There's just... There's things you do and you don't do. Um... Cause I... I mean, I've, I've done it before. I'll be watching a video. And I'll be really into something, and then all of a sudden this dude's like fucking sitting there grubbing out, and I'm like, damn, bro. Like, it does cross your mind. Like, you couldn't do that, like, at any other time? You're gonna just stop playing the game and just fucking eat right now, dude? Like, really? But now being on the other side of that, I'm like, you know, I understand, like, I, people gotta eat. And I try to tell people, it's either I eat now, uh, on stream, take, you know, five, ten minutes, we just eat. I just end the fucking stream and I, I go eat anyways, you know what I mean? I, feel, I do feel like, you know, a majority of people would rather me do just... Do your yapping and eating all you want while on stream. Just snack out real quick. I think we gotta go in that hole and climb up. Hey, either way, I'm fucking eating, you know what I mean? So... <laughs> yeah, so I think it was in that hole in the wall there. But I came down this way. No, no, I didn't. I'm an idiot, chat. I was in here the whole time. Cranio, I felt so I felt so bad yesterday, dude. Hello? For them little kids. I felt so bad. Be Elden Ring. Uh yeah, I, I played and beat Elden Ring, man. Uh I mean I don't I don't think that doesn't make me a not a mediocre. I've got nothing to say to you. Get the fuck out. It just makes me determined and mediocre. Cause I feel like that's all you need to be uh Elden Ring is determination. My entrance? You call that a secret? Well, yeah. It was supposed to be. <laughs> You're out of luck though, buddy. I still don't know anything about anything. Dodger sent me. Dodger? Uh, who is? Oh, he told me to say sayonara. Does that help? Okay. Shit. You should have started there. Dodger's looking for the order you owe him. <laughs> I bet. You see that? Busted leg. That's why I don't have Dodger's order. You need help? Nah. Wait. Don't go back to him. He finds out I botched the job. I'm done around here. And what should I tell him? Don't matter. He won't give a shit. He'll think I'm fucking him over. Hi. Can you go for me? Check out this storage area in an underground parking lot on St. Joseph Street. Cross the fence right in front of the massage parlor. Enter the building and head down the elevator shaft. Well, hey, slow down. First, what would I be looking for if I did this for you? GRE containers. According to the rumor that reached Dodger, there was a military installation here set up in the first days of the outbreak. 
And where there's military, there's usually a healthy stash of supplies. Uh, what kind of supplies? Don't know for sure, but usually good stuff from before the outbreak. It was only the finest for the military. Medicine, booze, whatever. <laughs> huh. No wonder Dodger wants this delivery so badly. Yep. Here. Take these bangers and give it a try, will you? It'd be a big score for all of us, but I'm out of the running now. Literally. All right, let's do it. Okay. I'll be back as soon as I we'll can. We'll do it. Thanks. You're saving my ass by doing this, buddy. But, but I'd wait till night falls to go there. Both zones are probably filled to the brim with infected right now. Well, thanks for the tip. Not that I'm in a hopeless situation, but can you hurry? All right, so we gotta head over to this abandoned parking lot. We'll see how this goes. Somebody asked if I'm doing all side quests. Um, I'm doing, right now I'm doing a lot of them because in the early game, because this this isn't the new game plus playthrough, uh, you kind of, um, you kind of got to do a decent bit of side quests initially to get the XP rolling and shit. Yeah, freaking Elden Ring was rough, dude. It, it really was, man. It was a good time, though, but yeah, it was rough. <laughs> Whoop, that wasn't what I wanted to throw. Gotta make some more throwing knives. I'm gonna try to get this container. Well, I think it's over here at the mission location. All right, let's get some of these uh, throwing knives crafted up real quick. If not, we're going to get absolutely shredded. Yeah, you don't understand though last night how like I wish you guys could have seen crazy seeing it dude yo these little kid like this one little kid walked up right and I'm like oh you know pick your pack or whatever he picks his pack he walks up just like I swear chat like I, I can't even do the face because he just walks up I'm like hey man you know congrats here pick a pack he just And I'm like, you excited, bro? You ready? And he's just like, I'm like, all right, man, I'm going to get you some fire. So I start ripping open the pack. Fucking I'm holding the cards up to him. There's no excitement in this kid's body, dude. He's like fucking seven. Like, what is going on? 
He's just mean mugging me, right? So I'm, I'm pulling, boom, boom, pulling cards, pulling cards, pulling cards. And then I get to the, the end of the pack. Boom. I ain't pulling him jack shit. Literally. Didn't pull him jack shit. He literally looks at me like this. He fucking turns around and just walks the fuck away, dude. Just walks away. That was it. I was like, bro, you don't watch your cards? Just kept walking. I was like, badass little kids, man. <laughs> yo, I, for real, I was like, yo, you want to meet me out in the parking lot or something? Dude, like, that's, he was looking like he wanted to fight. I'm like, hey, man, listen. <clears throat> you want to be the first little seven-year-old, man? I fight kids. All right? White kids. Nah, that shit was that shit was absolutely ridiculously hilarious. Okay, so the container isn't where I thought it was. Yet. It's out here somewhere. Is it on the roof here? Oh, it's right there. I see it. It's inside here. Yeah, the bad ones? Oh yeah, I fight Tim, we, we fight the bad kids, man. Got it, man. If if you don't, then you don't know what kind of monsters are gonna turn into, dude. You don't know, you got No, it was a good time, dude. It was, it was fun, man. And definitely, like I said, some of those kids, like, they're so excited. And then, uh, like, the one little girl, like, I pulled her some, like, garbage, Chef. I felt so bad. But I, I, I tried to pump it up. I was like, oh, you know, that's such you a good... You kids now? Thought it was just dogs and granny? Beer mugs, beer mugs, beer mugs, beer mugs, beer mugs, beer mugs. No, nah, yeah, freaking, um... I was trying to pump it up, like I was trying to, like you know, get her motivated, and I'm like, "Oh, this card's so good," and she's like, "I know," and I'm like, "No," in my brain, I'm like, "No, it's not," but she was so happy, and I was just like, "There it is, there it is." See that? That's what I like to see. How are you holding up? I'll be fine. How about you? Who are you? Uh, you guys need help? We'll be fine. Thanks. What happened? We heard a rumor about this garage. We thought it'd be an easy score, but we were wrong. Dumbasses. Hey, hey, at least we got far enough down to start up the old military generator and juice up some UV lights. So what happened then? Further down, the underground parking is fucking swarming with infected. <sighs> Barely made it out of there alive. Uh, dude, the they had his ass part beat. of a wall <laughs> collapsed on Jonas on our way to the surface. Well, you won't mind if I give it a try, do you? Knock yourself out, but it's probably not worth it. Unless you want to end up <laughs> like me, or worse. Yeah, I gotta make good on a promise. Here, if you manage not to die, maybe you'll find use for these. We sure ain't going back. <sighs> not that way, at least. Well, thanks. Can you hear those noises downstairs? That wailing? Yeah, like peacocks singing the hallelujah chorus. Must be howlers. They don't attack on their own, but bring other infected ones. You think it's all clear? Then one shriek and a wave of infected appears. <clears throat> I'm fucking scared. Maybe we'll come back for this generator another time. Seems to be in decent shape. And just how are we gonna get it out of there? 
Yeah, I wonder how rough this spot's gonna be. Oh, this is that damn parking garage. This place is actual nightmare fuel, dude. Had a fucking bow and arrow, dude. Nah, George, I'm not, man. I enjoyed California, though, when I was there. The wife says she doesn't like California, but she's never even been there. That's that's my thing. I, I, I feel like you can't officially say you don't like somewhere you've never been. Because like you said, you, you would have never said you like Boston. And then you went and you were like, oh, no, I actually like Boston. Yeah, this is how it goes. But once you go, you can fish a bit. Yeah, not the same for me. Definitely wouldn't want to live in California though. Way too fucking expensive. Temp the weather's the weather's alright there. It's definitely quite expensive. And you guys got fucking earthquakes and ain't nobody got time for that. That's why I like where I live in upstate New York. We don't have to worry about any natural disasters. <laughs> the worst thing we get here is some snow. Yeah, I mean, New York City, I don't live down there, so I don't got to worry about anything they get either. All right, we got to pop these mushrooms. It's cold as fuck in here. Some did you leave some open? Like Ah, yeah. uh, I feel so damn cold all of a sudden.
Yeah, I forgot there was multi levels to this damn place. Assassinate that dude. Here it is. Let me check something. We've been picking up some clothing items. I don't know if we picked up anything of note. The two bra brawler gloves. Five, four percent. Three point eight. Five point five, six point three. That's actually not bad. One-handed um, ranger gear, which we're not using at the moment. Medic pants, tank pants. No. And okay, so no, no great gear yet. Yeah, the weather's been real nice up here, chat. Like, we had one day where it was absolutely brutally cold the other, like, what, yesterday or the day before? And then it's been, like, you know, freaking 60, 50s. It's, you don't generally see that type of stuff in upstate New York. You know, it's de January, February, and then, you know, halfway, I'd say about halfway of, through March. Is you, that's, like, the coldest part of the year for us at... I think we've literally had maybe one, like, one or two days the whole winter where it's, like, even come close to, like, zero. I don't think we've had any days where it dropped below zero. Um, but yeah, I don't think we've had a single day where it dropped below zero. But we got to get over in there. I think this is the military storage area Hubert told me about. Let's look around. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, rare one-handed machete. Filters. Never gonna have enough of these. I'm sure Dodger can use them. Some good stuff, military grade med kits. It's looking good. Up through the top. I struck gold, a bottle of Risen Glory Cognac, and some cigars. Hmm, Cubans, the box says. Looks like I got everything of value. Time to head out of here. Well, there it is, guys. We can go right through that board there, and I'll, it's a shortcut so we don't have to go all the way back around and up. So kill it. Uh -huh. Wow, you made it. Did you find the stash? Sure did. Thanks for the lockpicks. But what are you still doing here? Is this him? Sure is. It was kind enough to get the goods for us. Saved us a lot of trouble. Very good. So, where did you find out about this? A little bird? Was it to you? Was it a little bird? Met a broken leg? How would you know? Because I broke it. Why'd you attack him? Hubert was planning to take the goods for himself. Tell Dodger he didn't find anything. Needed our help to pull it off. But we didn't know why we needed half assed Hubi. And now we don't need you. So, give them to us. Three against one? I like those odds. We're gonna get punched. Damn. Count again. I counted. Five corpses. Kill him and take the goods.
Wish we had a better gun because this gun is absolute dog shit. Well, granted, I am playing on the hardest difficulty, so the enemies are already tanky as fuck, but. This thing is actual dog shit. I'm not even gonna waste my ammo. free gun you get chat it ain't it i know uh people were saying that the guns later in the game are absolutely insane but yeah that shit i got, the one I got is not is not the standard I believe you can upgrade guns later on. I, like I said, we, ha we have to get to the... That's actually what we're going to probably do right now. We're going to start working on the uh, the main mission so we can get to the central loop. So we can get more... Cause I know a lot of people want questions answered about the guns. Uh, so yeah, we might try to push through the central loop. So we can see what the hell the guns are actually about. the leg uh no better but it'll heal eventually oh fantastic something wrong i had a chance to meet the bandits you mentioned before they said that you'd plan on cheating dodger after all okay the cat's out of the bag but look it was only gonna be just this once dodger would never find out why would you steal from a man who's giving you work Look, I'm living by the skin of my teeth here. I thought just this once I'd pretend he gave me a bum lead and take the whole stash. Maybe get a little ahead for once. And the bandits? I figured an ambush would sell the story better. Didn't expect them to turn on me. But then, I'm an idiot, aren't I? Seems like it. Trusting a group of thugs like them? That's what you get for being greedy. I wasn't being greedy. Just... Just desperate. Now I got a busted leg and don't know when I can work again. Uh, what happened to them anyway? Well, they tried to kill me, but didn't. Whew. Uh, and, and, and the goods? Did you reach them? I got everything. I'm begging you, don't tell Dodger. If you do, you'll ruin me. Please... T take what you have to him. Tell him I'll be back in business as soon as my leg heals. I'll Fantastic. think it over. Come on, man. 
Without work, I'll starve. I, I won't even think about doing it again. I, I swear. It's not my Don't problem, make dude. me laugh. You think I'd take your word for anything after this? Uh, believe me, I, I learned my lesson. I'll never do anything like that again. We'll see. I bet you won't, Hubie. I bet you won't. I got no doubt that he'll never do it again, chat. Uh, what am I streaming later? Ah, uh, probably Banishers, George. We are gathered here to honor the memory of the carnage. I gave you money to buy water. And he was supposed to be an only child. How should I not be scared? Aiden, what you got for me? I found these filters for one. Okay, I'm not setting my world on fire, but I can move those for a nice profit. How about these? A bottle of cognac and a box of cigars. Now that's what I'm talking about. You see? I knew there'd be something valuable at that military base. You see that, Urban? Can I sniff out the good shit or what? <laughs> Kick ass. Uh, speaking of asses, what was Hubie's deal? Is he trying to duck out on me? Hubert was gonna steal from you. You fucking what? I was gonna say you'd given him a bum lead and take the goods for himself. Hired a gang to make the story more believable, but they turned on him. They broke his leg. You don't say. <laughs> You're one cold bastard. I like you. <laughs> what? And half-assed Hubie. Well, you know what they say. Trust in God. But break your camel's legs, just in case. Couldn't tug. What? Hey, this psycho works for you? Well, two solutions are better than one. You wanted to kill me? No, who said anything about killing? I just told Klaus to get the loot. He can be a little overeager at times. You jackass! Oh, come on, don't pout. Look at Klaus. He's not mad about you killing his friends. It's natural selection. You proved yourself stronger than them. You came in handy after all. I didn't know how to get to Hubi, but then you showed up. I waited until you were gone and paid him a visit. Yeah. What did you do to him? He was in terrible pain because of that broken leg. So I broke the other one. For balance. That's what happens when you try to screw Dodger. I guess, but isn't that a bit extreme? Well, he won't be gazelling across the rooftops anymore, but he's still got a shot at a pro arm wrestling career. But he insisted that I turn the stash over to you. So, once a cheat, always a cheat. Duralex said Lex. The times we live in are ruthless, and the law must be so too. He's already learned his lesson. He said he wouldn't do it again. Right. Any idea how many people half-assed has conned? People who are also just trying to get by. Who have families to feed. He's been asking for trouble for a long time. He got what he deserved. And he won't scam anyone ever again. Remember, rules are rules. With the whole world collapsing, we need them more than ever. Without them, we'd be no better than a pack of rats. Did you call this following the rules? Your rules? He won't get away with this. Carl will hear the whole story. Carl? He won't dare touch me. I know too much about him. I know too much about everyone. Even Lucas respected me. Who do you think is behind his death? Barney? Sophie? <laughs> Barney and Sophie are just a pair of kids playing in a sandbox that's too big for them. On the other hand, 
They are really fucked up. You never know what might pop up in their heads. I know one thing, though. Curiosity killed the cat. Thanks for your concern, but I don't need it. Feisty, I like it. I saw the potential in you from the start. But I had to figure out who I'm really dealing with. And how did I do? You're something else. Remind me not to turn my back to you or I might get stabbed. But you've still a lot to learn, boy. You think too much. This is no world for a saint. A martyr, maybe. If you get yourself killed. At least I'll have a clear conscience. Clear conscience? Wunderbar. <laughs> no one has a clear conscience here. And since you're still alive, neither do you, right? What have you been getting up to, Pilgrim? What are you running from? Next time, find yourself another Patsy. Feisty, I like it. We'll meet again, Aiden. I think in my last playthrough, I lied to him, and like he said, he never wanted to work with me again. Apparently, you've made a commitment to something. All right, so we're going to actually go check out this mission with Sophie. Mm. I'm going to say in a bad spot, Chad. Like, you think in the apocalypse, like, could be worse, right? I mean, we are right next to the goats. Probably smells like shit in here. Probably smells like actual sh goat shit. Sell all this. And all these weapons, yeah, they don't sell for anything to the vendor, so we're just going to break them down for parts. The clothes sell for a, a little bit more than nothing, but... <laughs> definitely, definitely better than sleeping with the wild tiles, though. Where Killian lives... Okay, so we could upgrade another thing. So we can go Molotovs. Growing knives. I think we need to get our Molotovs cooking uh, up. A man after my own heart. <laughs> Reason being, uh, I want to make sure. Okay, so what do we need? We need blades for this to upgrade. Oh no, we need a uh, small and check. Oh damn, we should have got that actually, guys. We'll farm up some more uh, trophies while we're out. All right, let's get some Molotovs crafted up. We need damn. Got to buy some resources from this guy. Hopefully he has alcohol. Let's see what he's got. So he's got oxidizers. Nice one, son. Nice pigments. One. No blades. He's got some weights. Uh, had your eye on that, did you? To come and visit the His resources weren't that great. Someone bought your job so badly in my life. I 
Gasson. One more viral, and I'll be able to upgrade my sword. Nope, actually, two, because that was a freaking medium trophy. Why are we getting mediums off of those instead of the, the lights? But will this do instead? No, I mean it depends on what it is, dude. Yeah, that that's pretty cool. Electricity resistance booster. I've never even heard of that. This man has to say. Killian. Killian. It's Aiden. You there? Killian. Going in one way or another, dude. fertilizer. It's Vincenzo. Vincenzo? I, I can barely hear you. The PKs, they raided my place. I can't talk. The traitor, he sold us all out. Ooh. Hayden, Dad went ahead to the windmill. Meet him there. I'll meet you when I can. Just make sure that fertilizer gets to my dad. Okay, I'll do my best. Just come quick. That's a good idea. We have no choice, Aiden. Hurry. Please. This plan means everything to my dad. I don't know if you noticed, but dad's kind of awkward and unappreciated. This is a chance to show Carl, Sophie, everyone at the bazaar that they were wrong. What dad's made of, what he can do. He'll be the hero of the bazaar after this one. He always wanted to do something big. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. I'll stay with you on the radio. Hello? 
Vincenzo, hello? Vincenzo, I, I can't hear you. What? What do I have to do? I brought the fertilizer. Are you sure you got this? Of course I'm sure. And if I don't know something... This is so much I different than the PK side. Vincenzo. I don't remember... Ah, the windmill's causing too much interference. The radio doesn't work. Ah. Then I'll figure it out myself. It's as easy as I. And you're certain? He explained everything to me. Relax. We'll do... Me and you will do... <laughs> no reason we won't do just... And... Fine. Like I said, easy as pie. The bombs are ready. You're up. Take the charges and secure them to the spots Vincenzo marked for us. Planting bombs. Oh, what could go wrong? Easy as pie, right? Yes, precisely. The story might seem like it's moving faster, but the, um... This part of the game here is like, like I said, this is just the beginning, you know what I mean? I feel like even when you finish this part of the game and get to the next part, you're like just getting started. Like, you know, it's like the little intro. So I don't know this place, this place got to be full of PKs, right? There's PK guys in here. The Butch is our greatest enemy. He's responsible for the Black Monday bombings and the death of two million. That didn't sound like a lot of help. This can't be right. I didn't even realize this ladder was in here. So I missed one of the explosive spots, it's just right here. I'm not here to kill any PKs if, if we don't have to, we're just trying to play saboteur.
Chris with the super chat, man. Happy Saturday. Thanks for the love. I'm glad you're enjoying it, brother. Happy Saturday, Brian. Thanks for the live play. Nice for me to some alcohol. I can actually... Did I craft up those mollies? I didn't. Um, yeah, so let's do... How many mollies do we get per craft? Just one? Bruh. There it is. Charge is planted. But again, Chris, thank you so much, brother. Appreciate the love. Oh, shit. That's not it. That's not it. Okay, that was it. place time for the fireworks skadoosh would you like the honors you know what it's your thing bro i know how much this means to you <sighs> he wants us to That isn't triggering. Must be interference from the wind. Uh, it doesn't look like it did much. The windmill's still standing. Hey, look, the rotor's still spinning. Vincenzo's calculations. They must be off. Have it fixed in a flash. Gotta see this through. It's what are you doing? An armed bomb? Before the PKs get here. Giving you an armed um ah, armed ah. We can't rely on radio detonation. Not with all the interference. What now? This one is guaranteed to blow up the whole windmill. All right, how much time do I have? Let me count. It'll blow any second. 
Run! But where am I supposed to put it? Where? You have to go back! A and? And plant it on... Uh, 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 place it on... Put it on... The... Right in the middle of the windmill? I can finish my own sentences! Thank you very much! Planet, planet where? On the generator? No! Not there! On the rota! You have to climb up to the rota! To the very top? You serious? The bomb's ticking, Aiden. You really think we have time for jokes? God damn! We can't miss this, we can't miss this, we can't miss this. Come on, it's okay, go man! No! Oh, oh fuck! Yeah! Bye, cruel world. Master. Go on.
Hello? Hey, Alberto? I'm coming! You sons of bitches! What have you done to him? Chew on this! Stay put, you piece of shit! you, the windmill would still be standing. Almost like the fireworks in 90... Uh, 90... Uh, even... Ah, oh, man. I'm old. And you'll just keep getting older. Quit the bullshit, Aiden. I'm not that adult. Thanks for helping me. <laughs> I know what they think of me. Of course I know. <laughs> Tell everyone we pulled this off thanks to Vincenzo. Okay. <laughs> That's thanks to you, Alberto. No. Thanks to a Vincenzo, okay? They laugh at him. Laugh because of me. <laughs> but now that we've done this, they won't laugh anymore. See, he's, he's old man's, huh? Not a cook or a, or a failure anymore. Force the peacekeepers to withdraw. Say it was him. Promise me. All right. Okay. Oh, and tell him. Tell him that... That's okay. I'll tell him. That I'm proud. Never told him that. Son, I'm proud of you. I'll tell him for you. I promise. So do we gotta stab him in the head or is it so he doesn't turn? Damn, bro. Hey, Aiden. Nice fireworks show you put on. Now it's time to blow this popsicle stand. I can't. One thing I still have to take care of. You don't get it. There's no time to waste. We can make our way to the center now. Everyone's too busy to notice. I promised Alberto I'd tell his son something for him. Do you want to finish your business or play shepherd spreading the good word? Well, it's bad news, Hakan. Alberto is dead. I see. But the metro is empty. There might never be another chance like this. Are you sure? I have to go find Vincenzo, Hakan. I promised. 
A night fucking errand. Hurry. Remember Sarah and Yana. Find me at their place when you're done. If you're still alive. I don't... I had to keep my words shut. It's the least I could do for the old man. Damn. How many of you savages just was like, nah, fuck it, I'm just going to the center, dude. That shit hit me too hard in the fields to just leave, dude. So if I would have left there with chat, would you guys have considered me a savage? No. Play. That's probably one of the most savage things you could ever do. Seriously? Carl was the fucking. Call that a wrap. All cleaned up. Didn't put up much of a fight. Yeah, because they're cowards. Told you before. What about the prisoners? Throw them in the dungeon? Unless you feel like banging them first. Look. It's Chubbs. They killed Chubbs? Looks like it. But only him, I think. We gotta tell Anderson. Yeah, but where is she? Should have been here ages ago. I'll look for her. Those renegades scare the shit out of me. Am I more excited for GTA 6 or SOD? Probably State of K3. I mean, I love GTA also, but CS yeah, State of K3 is definitely. I've been waiting three years for the Carnage Hall tournament. Pretty up there for me. I trade posts with Perez. Daily, thank you so much for the almost one year, eight weeks off uh, work after yesterday's shoulder surgery. Looking forward to some streams. Daily, uh, with the five gifted man, I really appreciate it, dude. I hope you, I, I hope you recover fast. I know that shit's definitely not a good time, but I'm glad you got that out the way. Uh, like I said. I wish you nothing but a speedy recovery, dude. I got a cramp. <laughs> Shoot first. Ask Anyone else hear that? Anyone 
Cal's got a rash. yet. Anderson's still not here? Wouldn't be asking if I'd seen her, would I? <laughs> Calm down or you'll blow a gasket. We need more boots on the ground. I'm calling dispatch. Something's in the air. Anyone else feel that? Yes, baby. You're free. I thought it was over, man. I can't believe Carl betrayed us. Fuck, Pilgrim. At first I thought you gave us up. But Carl... If it wasn't for him, the Peacekeepers wouldn't have attacked. But he fled right after the blast. There are more on the upper level. Okay, I'll go there. You run. You were, were slick, Carl. Shit, chap. Hey. Aiden. Yeah, don't be scared. It's safe now. Thank you. Hey, Sophie. So is Vincenzo. Aiden, watch out! Aiden's gonna pay me hella gold for you! Good! Shit! <laughs> Guy wasn't even worth a golden shower. Get up, Aiden. Thanks, man. That makes us even. It's not over yet. Aiden! Aiden! Come on, you coward! Ooh. Come down and fight! You better get out of here, Anderson. You're on bizarre turf. Look, tell Aiden there's still time to call this off. Why would he do that? We're winning. You're stupider than I thought. Come down and fight, and stop using your bizarre buddies as human shields. Aiden, no! This is what you want? Didn't like the rest We meet again, bitch. I will put Survive. 
survive the interrogation, huh? <coughs> Traitor! <coughs> 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 What's what happens when you play with your food, chat? Damn, I can't, you can't even heal with that slow heal. You gotta have the, the fast one up. Too, at, in between saves, guys, you don't recruit resources. Oh. Yeah, so when you die and you respawn, you don't like revert back to an original save. Like that shit that you, yeah, you're still gone. reports that Ader's men are retreating. The plan worked. We took out their lights and the infected tore them to pieces. They don't stand a chance without him. Ader withdrew his men. They're in the metro tunnels. We're not getting to the center that way. Carl betrayed us. He's the one who went to the peacekeepers and warned them. Claimed he wanted to prevent bloodshed, but made things worse. But now, I run the bazaar. And I promise. We will defeat Ador, and I will take you to the central loop. Sophie runs the bazaar! For Sophie! <laughs> they know how many PK creeps it takes to screw in a light bulb? None, because they're too dead to screw anything. <laughs> Alberto's dead. <laughs> Don't be a buzzkill, Aiden. Yeah. <laughs> I'm serious. He was killed taking down the windmill. How'd it happen? We put Vincenzo's plan into motion, but then... Alberto had to go in his son's place. Sacrificed himself to blow up the windmill. Fuck me. To Alberto! To Alberto! So... Where's Vincenzo? He's outside. Look around. I don't think he's gonna take this well. Poor dude. Hey, Vincenzo. <laughs> we did it, Aiden. My dad, he really did it. Your father wanted me to tell you, um, he's always been proud of you. Very proud. What? Why are you telling me this and not him? He died, Vincenzo. Died for the bazaar. Was he in pain when he died? No, he was all smiles because of you and because he was able to carry out your plan. Thanks for being there with him, Aiden. Your dad kicked ass, Vincenzo. Yeah, Alberto's all right. Hell of a craftsman. For a loser, you mean. 
for a failure. That's what you used to say. If only we had more like Alberto, the PKs would have been gone ages ago. You, go in and check on Vincenzo. Now! You did a freaking awesome job, Aiden. We'll beat the PK, and we'll help you get to the center. You're one of us now, brother. You're part of the Bazaar family. Thanks, Barney. Good luck. Good luck, Pilgrim. Hey, Hakon. Where are you? I'm waiting for you at the girl's place. You'd better hurry, Aiden. The passage to the center. It's blocked. I have another idea. Just come quickly. Time is not on our side. Okay. I'm coming. Let me see here. So I got... Yeah, we'll go another point in stamina. Yeah, I'm going ham on these stamina upgrades. I, I need to uh, start working on combat or the, the side too, but... Stamina's life in this freaking game. Let me check my... Alright, we're good. I was going to repair some of my weapons. Maybe my katana, but I think I'm going to just craft a whole new katana. You know what I mean? Get the higher tier one. turning or some shit. Just got another park kills, parkour skill. Hakon. Ah, you're finally here. Let's go. When Yana heard you were coming, she grabbed Sarah and they left. Seems they weren't too fond of you. And where are we at? <laughs> ah, what? Fucking hell. Ah. Calm down. Let me see. Let me see. Ah, I'll help. Fuck. Wait. I'll ah. help. Show me. Relax. You're going to pull through. What's that? The wound from the Lazarus? You say you killed Lucas. If not for those brass knuckles, it would only took a few seconds to do the job. Ah, I thought he was a better fighter. Ah! The fuck are you saying? Ah, no point denying it with this wound, right? So you carved ah. out his tattoo and planted it on Barney. Ah, Waltz. He ordered the kill. You're working with Waltz and you didn't tell me? You piece of shit. Oh, you don't get it, kid. Waltz would have killed me, you see, like he killed Dylan. And anyone who defies him. I have to get out of here, get it? I couldn't have told you. Why? You know he's the one who tortured me in the past. I didn't tell you in order to protect you. So what if you find out something about... 
about your sister. Waltz will kill you. Where is he? Ah, fuck. Where is Waltz? <laughs> Supposed to meet him under the electric car factory in the GRE tunnel. Hey, then I'm fucking dead here, understand? They're gonna kill me. You'd leave me. You'd leave me now. I should leave you to die for what you did. Why wouldn't you? I'm gonna find that sniper first. Ah. <clears throat> really? You do that for me? A life for a life. After that, we're fucking done. That counts, my boy. Sniper. No, nothing. Use your binoculars. Shut up. I'm done listening to your sage advice. I know, I fucked up. I Let's leave it binoculars. at that. Those bolts fly far and fast. Find something to hide behind. Tell me something I don't already know, Hakon. Got eyes, Hakon. There's another way you actually have to go. So I, I, I didn't know if I got killed by the fire or if I got killed by the uh, the explosion. But yeah, we just sort of got killed by the fire. Watch out for all the chemical waste. Yeah, I got eyes, Hakon. That way. Yep, I'm fine. Clever fucker. Shut the tank. God, fuck! I can't, I'm a shit duck. Run, boy! Run! Chris got an eagle eye. I see him, Aiden. He's sticking to the roof. Go! Drop the ladder. Well, so much for surprise. We figure something out. Still in one piece? <clears throat> for now, yes. I gotta get behind him somehow. Oh, fucking 
William Tell. Forget to me like that. Who else wants to kill you, Hakon? Ader? The, uh, the PKs? I lost track ages ago. Andy, brother, with the 22 months. Oh, fuck no! <laughs> For now, yes. Gotta get Seriously, behind bro. you somehow. I know, man. It's absolutely crazy how fast things are going. How you been, Andy? It's good to see you, dude. <sighs> oh, fucking William Tell. They get to me like that. Who else wants to kill you, Hakon? Ader? The, uh, the PKs? I lost track ages ago. The fuck? <sighs> Alright, just gotta watch our stand before we make that jump. Hope everything's going good, Andy. Seriously, brother. Okay. I'm tracking. So we can just make this jump here. I don't know why I kept thinking I had to go up that way. Maybe you do. Maybe you can't make this jump. Okay, we're going to try it anyways. No, we're good. better. Why are you hunting Hakon? Who's this about killing Lucas, sir? Tell Hakon that it's not over I, yet. Hey, 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 my meter's still running. Akon, yeah, she got away. But you're safe. For now. She? There was a woman? Fuck. Yeah? And I don't think she likes you. That sounded personal. Personal, huh? Doesn't usually narrow it down. But I know who it is. Watch out for her, Eden. She's one of the most dangerous people you'll ever meet. Yeah, noted. Now I'm going to the central loop. Beware of words, Eden. Renegades have appeared all over the center, and he's working with them. He's looking for the key you've got. I'm done listening to your advice. Sophie, I'm gonna need your help getting to the center. The guy who was supposed to get me there, he... Well, things got complicated. Ader's men are still fighting. They barricaded themselves inside the tunnel. I can't help you. What about our agreement? Relax. Listen, there's another way through. An old tunnel under the hills near the Tango Motel. It was used by smugglers. Peacekeepers didn't even know about it. It's been closed for years. But if you manage to start the generators, you might be able to get to the center. And you're telling me this just now. Sorry, Adam. 
I want to help you. But most of all, I have to help the bazaar. Good luck, pilgrim. We might settle then. Yeah, kind of. Bit busy. Just letting you know, we've detected movement among the PKs. They're looking for you. Take care, and good luck. The GRE tunnel. This could be the place Hakon talked about, but no sign of Waltz. <sighs> some kind of generator around here. Of course. Just what I needed. Yeah. <laughs> 
Spitting ball ties with the dark skin are the alphas that have nocturnal equipment. Why did I have one of the alphas after me when I was running there? I seen something spit at me. I didn't know if it was a boss. I, I was. I could barely even fucking see what was happening. Nothing like a good old alpha volatile, right? Behind door number one. Hey, you, you don't call, you don't write, and it was such a promising friendship. Walt ordered Lucas's death. Detective Aiden won't rest until he solves the case. You expect me to believe you? Why would I? Because Walt is here. Hang on, boys, search the tunnel. Why would Walt have Lucas killed? To weaken the PKs, to put a wedge between you, spread chaos. I don't know his plans. Fucking hate politics. <clears throat> and you picked the wrong side. What else is there to discuss? Aider, Aider, they're attacking the headquarters. Bizarians, they took the metro station. What the fuck? Come on, grab that door. This gun did it. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> Quiet. I warned you, Aider. The electricity's off. We need to find the fuse box. What's going on here? Who turned it off? Who do you think? You're gonna be a smart ass now. No, I'm just saying, let's get it. Like a mad three-year-old, dude. Well, you can't escape anyway. Okay, search for the fuse box. There should be a utility room nearby. Hepa, check the other entrance. You two search that tunnel. It's a maze, but if Waltz is hiding here, he had to leave a trail like any slug. We're waiting, Aiden. Splinter or the slitter. Okay, that was tough, even for me. <clears throat> Damn, someone must have locked that door. That blind? 
Can't get in there. There. Uh, the gun is really, really weak right now. Um, the one that we have, it is, it's not even really worth using. It's just a waste of your bullets. So I'd wait until you get a better one. Jack Matt's leash. Save it for your trial, just before they cut your head off. Do you really <clears throat> think that's how this is going to play out, Lieutenant? Lucas's death was just the beginning. You admit you had him killed. Take him. Why does his death bother you? You're not enjoying your new role. New status, new challenges, new possibilities. Don't I deserve a thank you for making this possible? Nicely put. Now enough of your crap. Cuff him, Hepper. I'm glad you finally joined us. Shut up, Walt. Now, give back what you stole from me. Give back the key, boy, or you will all die. Fuck! Hepper! What are you waiting for? Kill him! you've done the little boy wants to pretend he's a grown-up but he's no grown-up just a precious little boy They would allow you to control that. That'd be so dope. Oh, what the hell? They had like upgrades for it and shit. My head is pounding. Like the volatile mode or whatever. What's happening to me? What happened here? I'm in the car factory. Over. The key. Walt says the GRE key. Yeah, I, I feel this like is it, Waltz. I do. I feel like they should add like a bit more to that, like you, you know, kind of like because Dead Island did it, where you could like you, you could like go like zombie mode or whatever, and then they could you could build on top of it and shit. I really feel like that'd be a cool aspect for them to build on. Has that ever been requested? Because I know people ask for guns, people ask for all, you know, but I feel like something like that would be cool as shit too. They're planning to add it for the new DLC too. Well, Jess, I wouldn't say it would necessarily make the game too easy because uh, unless you, uh, because a lot of those abilities you can't just spam it. You know what I mean? So it's more of like a you build it up and then you kind of just hold on to it. And when you get into the shit, you kind of like you, you use it and you go ballistic. Um, but 
at the same time, uh, you know, it scales with difficulty. You know what I mean? I feel like if they went ahead and because uh, there's nightmare mode that they're supposed to be adding to the game, I feel like that would it would work really well in something like nightmare mode. But generally, the stuff like that, you can't just spam it over and over and over again. You know, you've you got to kind of like build up, fight a bunch of enemies, and then and then you can like spend it. It's been a request. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be really cool. Definitely be really cool. Junction donated two hundred dollars. Catching up. Just kidding about the bail. <laughs> no, I figured you were joking about the bail thing, dude. <laughs> no, I just haven't seen you in a while, dude. I, I feel like I haven't seen you in forever, man. That's what I say. I just hope everything's all good, dude. It's so good to see you. That is absolutely unnecessary, man. That is a huge, huge donation, brother. Seriously, man, I really appreciate that. Oh, that was a couple of minutes, why? Oh. No, seriously, dude. That is absolutely crazy. Guys, hearts in the chat. Andy just coming and dropping a $200 donation, man. That's absolutely bonkers, dude. Thank you. Holy shit, dude. But we're going to end this here, guys. Holy crap. I'm going to go eat dinner. And then, um, again, I appreciate the love and support you guys have been showing this series. We just are on, like, starting from this point going forward, we're going to be making our way to um, the center loop. And hopefully, once we get to the center loop, get settled in at the fish eye, we can start doing those damn gun missions. Yeah, she had walked over here to, to tell Andy she loved him. But um, we will be doing another stream, so I'm going to go eat, like I said, and then I'll be doing one more stream tonight, uh, probably playing some Banishers. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. I absolutely love that damn game. But uh, if I don't get you, catch you guys in the next stream, you have a great rest of your night. Hopefully, I'll see a bunch of you guys over there. Come hang out. The Banisher is probably one of my favorite games. Yeah, it's so, so good. I'm loving it so much. Uh, but yeah, thank. I really, really appreciate if you guys come hang out. Watch me slay some ghosts. Nah, but if not, hey, you guys have a great rest of your night. Uh, I do, again, appreciate everything you guys do for me. Um, you guys have a great rest of your night. And for everybody else, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.